Good morning, YouTubers. You have reached the Brian Sledge channel. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye. Adam Schiff calls Trump's supporters bums. Dan Bongina humiliates him. Bad. After California Democrat Adam Schiff said that President Donald Trump's supporters in Congress are bums and need to be thrown out, former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino humiliated him. Bad. Adam Schiff, DCA, has all but relegated himself to the loony bin of political history with his wild and baseless accusations against President Donald Trump. Recently, Schiff went after Trump's supporters in Congress, suggesting that voters need to throw the bums out. Well, the broad question is how do you counter a president who repeats falsehood after falsehood after falsehood, Schiff said during an interview on ABC's This Week with host Martha Raddatz. That has the bully pulpit of the presidency to do it and has allies in Congress who are willing to support that. At the end of the day, there's only one remedy for that and that is you need to throw the bums out. Well, Bongino has a response for Schiff that all liberals need to hear. Bongino recently appeared on Fox News Fox and Friends where Bongino was asked about his thoughts on Schiff's recent idiotic comments about Trump supporters in Congress. He had the perfect humiliating reply. I'm trying to grasp the logic train he's using here. He's saying you should throw the bums out because they are dishonest. This guy is the champion of dishonesty. He's one of the bums. I don't know what he's talking about. You understand he's lied to the American people for over a year now about the existence of evidence in the Russian collusion investigation of collusion that doesn't exist, Bongino said. He cannot admit and cannot give up the fact that none of this happened. Now the dance is about the euphemisms and the spy versus an informant. I'm telling you this is all nonsense. The Democrats cannot give this up. This is all they have. They define themselves by Russian collusion that did not exist, Bongino added. Next, host Griff Jenkins asked Bongino about his thoughts on Barack Obama's awareness or presence during the Spygate scandal, and the former Secret Service agent said, You know, I've been itching to get this out there. Let me explain to you from an insider's perspective, from someone who's worked in law enforcement. I've had interactions with intelligence often and these types of things. Bongino then turned around and hit Democrats hard with the ugly truth about why they refused to use the word spy when discussing Obama's political surveillance scandal. It turns out, it's all really just a favor of sorts to keep Obama from looking like the criminal that he truly is. The reason they are dancing around this spy versus informant narrative is precisely because of what you just asked, Griff, the role of Obama. Let me explain this to you quickly. Spy would mean it was someone from the outside inserted or designed to interact with the campaign to get information, meaning someone told them to do it, Bongino said, according to Daily Caller. An informant would have been someone inside the operation that saw something negative and wanted to come out and speak about it. That's why they are not using the word spy. Precisely because it implicates Obama who put him from the outside into the Trump campaign, Bongino added. The bottom line here is that the fish rots from the head down, and former President Barack Obama was the head of the government during the Spygate scandal. Adam Schiff is nothing more than one of Obama's messenger boys who would tell any lie if it benefited the progressive agenda. Fortunately, we now have a president who places tremendous value on transparency and integrity. Regardless of how the mainstream media wants to portray our president or spin the narrative, American patriots will continue to support him and his supporters in Congress right through the midterm elections. In all honesty, it's bums like Schiff who need to be tossed out of our government. Our government.